In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to put an image into a shape, and we're gonna start from scratch. So first off, I'm gonna make a shape, and that shape is gonna be a polygon. Click and hold on the Shape tool in your tool panel and select Polygon tool. Now I'm just gonna click on my canvas out here, and it's gonna open up a little Create Polygon dialog window. I'm gonna do number of sides 20, corner radius 43, star ratio 89, and then uncheck these guys and hit OK. From there, I'm going to select my uh, Move tool, press Command or Control T on that shape, and scale it up from the corner. Now, I might need to hold Shift if it's skewing, but maybe I don't. You know, it kind of depends on your settings. Okay, so there is a shape. I'm going to press the Return key on this shape. Now, over here in my Properties panel, I can still make some adjustments to it. I can change the number of sides. I can adjust the star ratio is what they call it, and also the rounding of the corners. I think I'll round those off a little more. So I've got this shape out here, now I need an image. I'm gonna go up to File, down to Place, Embedded. Now you can also just click and drag an image in. I'm gonna select this first one here, which is Clouds, and I'm gonna place that into our document here. I'm gonna press the Return key on my keyboard to kind of commit that in here. Now I have a Photo layer, and I have a Polygon or Shape layer. With the Photo layer and the Move tool, shortcut key V, selected, I can move it around, right? So I see the shape right there, so I could drag the photo on top of it. Now from here, we're gonna create what's called a clipping mask. So with this cloud icon select, or this cloud photo layer selected, I'm gonna hold the Option key, or if you're on PC, that's gonna be the Alt key. And if I drag down between these two layers, I have this little icon that I can click and create a clipping mask is what they call it. And what that does is it takes the image or whatever's above this polygon and clips it inside of whatever this shape is. So in this case, this polygon shape. Now there's a few tweaks we can do here and a few things you might notice. First, if you try to move this polygon, it just moves around and the image doesn't move with it, right? So we'll undo that really quick. Same thing with the image. If you move the image, it moves inside the polygon, but the polygon doesn't move with it. There's a plus and a minus to that. First off, you can position the image exactly how you want. You can also use the free transform tool, which is in the edit free transform spot right here. That's command or control T. I would remember that one. And you can scale this image up and down inside of this polygon so that you can get it fit just the way you want it. And as soon as you got it there, press the return key. Now, if you like where the image and the polygon are and you don't wanna keep having to move both of them at the same time by like selecting both layers, what you can do is link them together, which is a pretty cool feature. We can select both layers, right click, and link layers. Now, anything I do to the polygon also is done to the photo. So that could be moving it around, that could be Command or Control T, and then scaling it up and down. It all stays together. So if I had something in here that I liked the way it looked, I can link them together so that all of those different adjustments are easier to make, even if I just have one of these selected uh, instead of both of them selected. Another way to keep things together would be to select both and to click this folder icon down here to create a group. And inside this group, which I could say cloud shape, for instance, to rename uh, that, is all of the elements that I have in there. And then if I have that group selected, I can move that group around and scale him up and down as well. So some different ways to keep that organized, but that's how you can put an image into a shape here in Photoshop.